Hey, what's going on dudes and dudettes? I am the Mystical Green Beanie, and I know I sound really negative towards Marvel Comics in a lot of my videos, and I don't want to come off as one of those YouTubers who just has this irrational hate for Marvel, or you know, one of those YouTube channels who clearly picked a side and is constantly trying to instigate a war between Marvel and DC fans. And I'm not going to name names because I know at least five of these YouTube channels popped in your head as soon as I said that, but regardless, I love Marvel Comics. It just so happens that I started this channel in the wake of what I feel is one of their worst eras. But with that said, dismissing the fact that I'm not pleased with what they're doing currently, I adore Marvel Comics. And one of the main reasons I love Marvel is because they have such an expansive universe. And while no corner of that universe is the same, they all affect each other in some way. And there's so many characters that live in this universe that cross over with one another and we get to see this clash of ideology and how these people from very different backgrounds mesh with each other, and it's just really fun to watch that unfold. Another thing that I absolutely love about Marvel are the characters, because all the characters in the Marvel Universe are people. They're just ordinary folk with flaws and nuances who try to reach for the power of gods, and once they get that power, their lives are instantly made miserable. And you know, there are some exceptions to this rule. Uh, sometimes power is thrust upon them and now they're in a situation that they never really wanted to be in in the first place, but they find a way to make it work. But at the end of the day, like I said, these guys are just regular people. And sometimes you forget that when you're reading about them, but then you're reminded and it raises the stakes that much more. Either that or it does the opposite and in reminding you that these are just regular people with more power than they deserve, it can make the context of whatever you're reading all the more horrifying. Finally, just a quick side thing that I wanted to mention because it's worth mentioning, Marvel's pseudo-creationist mythology is really fascinating. I mean, the Marvel Cosmic Universe was created by base god Jack Kirby, so no duh. But again, at the moment, Marvel's comics are in a slump, and I hope that they can bounce back from this soon and go back to what made people love them in the first place. You don't need to have back-to-back -back events. You don't need to relaunch your entire line with new number ones every year. And you don't need to change the race, gender, or sexual orientation of all of your characters at the same time. And while diversity is a good thing, it feels forced and less interesting or special when it's done line-wide like they're doing currently. And I can't speak for anyone else, but I love Marvel because of their great stories. And I would like for Marvel to focus more on telling great stories once again, as opposed to focusing on the next big event, or the next big status quo. Because when you focus more on telling an interesting story, the next big thing, or next big event, could naturally spin out of that. And trust me, I wouldn't be saying that if I hadn't seen you do it before. Anyways guys, those are my thoughts. What about you? Why do you love Marvel? Let me know down below in the comment section. Also, if you like this video, hit the like button, share, support the channel, and if you want to see more content like this, all you have to do is subscribe. I'm the Mystical Green Beanie, thank you for watching, and as always, until next time, adios nachos.